I found this glass jar at Target for $3. They had two different sizes. This one was a little taller than the other one. And I'm just going to start by removing the sticker off of the bottom. I have my Amaker Studio mesh stencil. It's called Fresh Cut. And this is a 12 by 18 inch stencil. It has a couple different designs on it. I'm going to remove it from the package. And I'm just going to cut the bottom section with the pine trees off. That's the section I'm going to be using on today's project. Now there's a white protective backing. You do want to remove that and you want to set that aside. Now the back side of these are adhesive so I'm going to adhere it to the bottom of my jar using the bottom of the pine trees as my guide and I'm just going to have them sit along the bottom side of the jar and as I lay it down I'm just going to rub it make sure that it's adhered nicely and I have my glass etching cream this is also from a maker studio you can also use the ceramic paint I have a small paintbrush here and I'm just going to apply a good amount of the etching cream onto the mesh stencil. Now we're focusing on all of the cutout areas. You want to apply a good amount so that it seeps through the mesh. And now I'm just going around the entire stencil, just making sure I hit all the areas that I want my glass to have etching on. Now you're going to remove it. I remove mine pretty much right away. And I have a bucket of clean water that I lay the stencil in. And then you want the etching cream to sit on the glass for at least five minutes before rinsing it off. So I do have a second clean bucket of water that once my five minutes is up, I'm just going to set the jar into the clean water and rinse off the etching cream. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper towel and just fully dry everything off. And that is when you will see the etching in the glass the best, once everything is completely dry. Now, the stencil did not go around the entire bottom of the jar, so I did wash my stencil. I allowed it to fully dry, so now it is adhesive again. These are reusable. And I'm going to place it on the section that was still missing it. And I just use the blue painter's tape so that I do not go over any areas I already etched on. So I'm just applying the etching cream with the brush. Once I have it applied, I remove the stencil. I want to wash the stencil as soon as I can. I kind of do that while I'm waiting the five minutes before rinsing the etching cream off. And then I'm going to put the jar back into new clean water and remove the etching cream from the jar. And I just love how this looks. You have to let the light hit it a certain way. To decorate the top, I have some artificial pine. And I'm just going to twist the ends of them together. And I want to make sure this is long enough so that I can wrap it around the top of the jar. And then I'm just going to add some hot glue. You can also use some E6000 on the back side. And I'm going to adhere the artificial pine. And then on the front, I'm going to add this pre-made bow that I had. And now you can fill this with anything of your choice. And again, the etching is just a nice, subtle touch to a piece of glass that you can place in your home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.